Hey everybody, Paul from uh, Grindhouse Funhouse and uh, welcome to my August 2018 collection update for uh, DVDs, Blu-rays, soundtracks and a few little bonus things I purchased during the last month. Uh, I decided regardless of how many things I would buy within any month, I would just do a video of uh, a collection update like most other film collectors do on the YouTubes. Uh, I did do a few unboxings here at the beginning, but uh, these will become a bit rarer now since I've become a full-time student. That is right. I am now uh, going back to school a quarter century later since the last time I was in school and I am studying film editing. That's right. Uh, besides become, being a fan of cinema, I actually want to be part of it on an artistic level. Uh, it's something I've always wanted to do since I was uh, a wee lad. I uh, found this really cool eight months program that uh, will pretty much teach me everything I need to know uh, uh, about in the world of uh, film editing. Uh, clearly, I will put my, le my new learned skills to good use on this channel, so uh, keep an eye on that. Can't wait to see what kind of things I'll just uh, add on here. Um, so I'll have a bit less money to spend on Blu-rays and DVDs and soundtracks. Uh, I'll only try to find really good deals on, uh, you know, Craigslist, Kijiji, Facebook Marketplace, uh, flea markets. I still go to those. Um, I, I might still do a few unboxings, but mostly maybe around. Uh, Black Friday when it's coming up that I'll definitely try to buy something either from like uh, Vinegar Syndrome, Kino, Ronan Flick, Seni, big Blu-ray companies doing amazing sales. I can't pass this up like that would be crazy. So yeah, uh, now that I get uh, I'll get to do monthly collection updates besides all the other things I want to do still uh, still want to do my uh, only on VHS reviews. I found a couple of movies now on VHS that I need to do reviews for and uh, other specific projects I have that I'm still like working on. It's a uh, work in progress. All right, so uh, I got a few DVDs, like I said, through Blu-rays, a couple soundtracks on vinyls and a couple bonus things uh, I'm going to show you. So uh, here we go. All right, so let's start with DVDs, shall we? First up is uh, Live in Large. It's a, a 1991 comedy from Michael Schultz with people I don't recognize. It's uh, I feel like this, the, uh, besides Julia Campbell, she was big in the 80s, she did a lot of comedies. But um, a lot of people from this movie didn't go far, I guess. Or I should have to check it out. Anyway, uh, in the early 90s, there was a, a lot of movies uh, coming from, uh, you know, black filmmakers, uh, companies like Strictly Business, uh, The Wayans Brothers, Mo Money, House Party. It was almost a genre unto itself and uh, Live It Large was one of them, but kind of forgotten. Like, do people actually talk about this movie? I actually went through a list of, because I'm big on movies from like 1990, 91, 92. I'm trying to almost to like collect all the movies I saw back in the day or the ones that I passed on like this one and just want to check it out. So I took a chance. I uh, ordered this one on the Amazon and uh, we'll see how good it is. I mean, the trailer made it look pretty good. So uh, we'll see, we'll see. All right, up next, it's uh, three movies. No, four movies I found at a Marché aux Puces in Charlevoix when I went on vacation in Quebec uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, first up, The Trigger Effect with uh, Kyle MacLachlan, Elizabeth Shue, Dermot Mulroney. It's a movie from David Cope, who wrote uh, Jurassic Park. Uh, what else did he do? Many other movies. Uh, yeah, he did uh, the Kevin Bacon horror movie, Stir of Echoes, also. It's basically a movie where, uh, what would happen if the electric, electricity grid would just go, sh would just shut down? What would happen? Well, people turn on each other, that's what happened. And, it's a pretty insular story between these three people. Uh, Kyle, obviously, is very good in this. Elizabeth Shue, still looking hot in 1995. Uh, it, I, it's, it has a lot of potential. It's, it's good, but it's not great. This is the kind of movie that actually 
since we're such on a remake kick right now, this would be a great movie in 2018 to, to remake. So I would not be opposed for the trigger effect to see another release, uh, but uh, it was okay. It was okay. Um, up next, Wind. It's not very grindhouse fun housey, I grant you, but um, this is a movie I remember seeing in 1992 at the World Film Festival here in Montreal. Uh, the, this, the film festival that is a shadow of its former self. It's barely a blip now on the, on the scene. Uh, it's a movie from Carl Ballard. Uh, it stars Stellan Skarsgård. Um, you know, Matthew Modine, Jennifer Grey. It's about rich people on a boat racing in the wind. <laughs> Uh, well, no, it's uh, it's about racing boats, and uh, it, it's 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 a good movie. I, I liked it when I was when I, well, I saw it in 1992. Uh, up next, Switchback, uh, from from 1997, directed by Jeb Stewart, starring Jared Leto, um, Dennis Quaid, Danny Glover. Uh, I remember it when it came out. Just didn't care to see it. Since it was a dollar, I picked it up. It's basically about uh, a serial killer on the loose and is kidnapped the son of the FBI agent pursuing him. But who is the killer? We don't know. I don't know, though, because I haven't seen it yet, but uh, look interesting, picked it up. All right, up next, Life Force, the crazy 1985 Toby Hooper movie about space vampires with the very sexy um, Matilda Day, or Matilda Day, May, I should say, who pretty much three quarters of the movie just walks around naked. I mean, come on, how can you like that? This movie is really batshit crazy. Uh, I don't know what Toby Hooper was on when he made this. And also it's a canon film. So right there, the mix of Toby Hooper and uh, uh, within the, the Golden Globus, sphere of the canon films this is what you got and this is the movie he did right after i want to say poltergeist i think it's what it is but uh yeah this movie is amazing uh i bought it on dvd even though i still want the uh, collector's edition from uh, screen factory i'm just on the lookout for that but that goes for crazy money on uh, the internets and uh, i'm gonna have to wait a little bit more but i still have a copy so it's all good now on to um, the Blu-rays. Uh, first up, John Carpenter's The Ward. This is the last movie he directed before he went on his uh, music kick, basically just touring and you know releasing albums. This was in 2010. It's uh, starring um, Amber Heard, Mammy Gummer, the daughter of Meryl Streep, uh, Daniel Pannebacher, and Jared Harris. Uh, I know this movie is about, it's in the 50s, she's in a psychiatric hospital and uh, she has no idea why she's there, so it's, um, it's a movie about a, a crazy person thinking she's not crazy, why she's in a crazy place. Uh, still haven't seen it, I, I will eventually. I'm trying to own every John Carpenter movies. I'm getting pretty close, this was one of the last one. I actually got it at Walmart for $7, how about that, sweet deal. Um, can't wait to see the new Halloween movie coming out on October 19th. He did the music for it, John Carpenter. He's a producer. I guess he gave his input for uh, how things should be. But it uh, looks interesting. I'm definitely going to check it out. So yeah, The Ward. Uh, I got a pretty sweet deal on Kijiji, which is our Craigslist here in Canada. And we, we do have Craigslist as well. Um, so yeah, I got three good deals on Screen Factory titles, $10 each. Uh, when I saw this, I was like, oh, I gotta get on this like right away, and I got really lucky. First one, The Fog, the collector's edition. Again, John Carpenter. Um, is this 1980? That is 1980. Jamie Lee Curtis. Um, yeah, man. This is, uh, I think it was right after Escape from New York and The Thing, and before The Thing. Um, I have not seen it. I know a lot of people have. I have not. I'm going to keep it for my uh, horror challenge in October, my 31 days of horror. Uh, the one thing that's missing here is a sweet slip cover. So anybody out there watching me, listening to me, if you want to part with your slip cover and it feels so naked without it, I would gladly appreciate it if you want to 
you know, send me a message about it. Next was uh, George A. Romero's Day of the Dead, classic zombie movie from 1985. I would say that's my favorite. I think it is. I think it is. Is it? I think. It's between Dawn of the Dead and this one. But I think this one has the, the upper hand. Um, everybody knows about this movie. I don't have to tell you much about it. Again, slip cover missing. So if you want to part with yours, I will take it. And then um, Night of the Demons from uh, Kevin Tenney. Um, this was a blind buy. I have not seen this one. I've seen a trailer. Looks cool. I'm going to save this one as well for 31 Days of Horror. Uh, this one as well is missing slip cover. So hey give it to me no i'm just kidding if you want to you know get in touch who knows who knows and um another screen factory i bought on the amazon i know actually it was on a facebook group i got a really good deal for it even less expensive than amazon it's the it's alive trilogy larry cohen this crazy crazy man with a killer baby uh it's a newborn it's alive and it murders it murders people look at this crazy baby right here and uh, it's a pretty sw uh, sweet set. We got uh, It's Alive, the first one from 1974. We got It's Alive again, it's, or It Lives Again, I guess it's as the, those two titles from 1978. And then the one I've heard about, apparently just really insane, It's Alive 3, Island of the Alive, with uh, Michael Moriarty, Larry Cohen's favorite actor. And I um, actually saw him last year present an award at the Fantasia Film Festival. He was there, um, as crazy as ever, but very entertaining. This came out in 1987. So yeah, I've seen uh, It's Alive. I have not seen uh, two and three, but that's on the list. Can't wait to check them out. Uh, two more Blu-rays. One is from the creators of Stakeout, Disorganized Crime. I got this for a dollar no less so why not give it a chance it's a mill creek uh, release it's a movie from jim koof jim koof is one of the dudes who created the like i said stakeout he was part of the um, naked gun naked gun team with the zucker brothers uh it's got uh corbin burnson lou diamond phillips and o'neill why not it's a dollar i'll give it a whirl and then oh don't fall off and then a classic oh my god classic sport movie slap shot 1977, a true classic, as it says in the uh, in the back, with uh, Paul Newman, uh, directed by George Roy Hill, who did uh, Funny Farm, Chevy Chase, other comedies. Uh, this is uh, even in, in Quebec. This movie is huge. Uh, there's a, a dub French version, the Quebecois version, as they call it. We call it here the true version of Slapshot because it just it just so perfect. It perfectly matches with. Like I don't even want to listen to Paul Newman talk, and uh, I just want to <laughs> I just want to hear it in French Quebecois because it's just it's hilarious. It's a great movie, and uh, that's it for Blu-rays. Um, I found two soundtracks, and I showed them in my last two videos. My entire vinyl collection of soundtracks you could still check out if you wanted to. Uh, I found Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indiana Jones, John Williams, Steven Spielberg classic of course it's in mint condition too it's really beautiful and then top gun why not classic 80s songs like uh in the danger zone and uh, you got lover boy cheap trick take my breath away berlin as you know top gun 2 is being filmed right now so who knows how the hell's gonna come out uh they actually got they actually delayed it for a year i know it's coming out 20 in 2020 i think now so we'll see and finally i got two bonus things i will scoot over right here i found or i should say bought two t-shirts the first one my panavision t-shirt which i featured in my last video and then also my scanners shirt look at this that's going to be in the next video the 1981 classic Canadian horror movie from the master David Cronenberg shot right here in Montreal. This is an amazing movie. I will gladly wear this shirt proudly. And um, that is it for my collection update. 
If you like this, please like, share and subscribe. Um, click on that tiny little bell that's right here so you never miss a new video from me. Also go check out my Instagram feed at Grindhouse Funhouse where I post on the daily my Facebook page at Grindhouse Funhouse, Grind Funhouse on Twitter and uh, grindhousefunhouse.tumblr.com on Tumblr. Uh, in the comment section below, let me know what you got in last month. And uh, if you want to ask me anything about uh, stuff I bought, the movies I bought last month, I, will, I promise you I shall answer you in a timely manner. That's it. Be well and you'll see me again pretty darn soon. Bye.